Good morning, Greyhound. There are no student birthdays today. Happy birthday today to Mrs. Weir. Still not a student. Today will be sunny with a high of 70 degrees and a low of 56 degrees. Yes. What do, what do you, you call, call a monster, monster with, with high, high IQ? IQ? Frank Einstein. How do you make a tissue dance? Put a little boogie in it. Did you know that your brain is constantly eating itself? Oh. Scary, I know, right? Hi, I'm Caroline, and here are the eight fantastic books for Shark Week. The first books are from the Clark the Shark series by Bruce Hale. Clark is a shark who is kind-hearted and excited about everything, but this accidentally causes him to hurt or disrupt others. Because of his behavior, the other fish do not want to play with him. Then he comes up with a rhyme for different situations in school, staying in his seat, lunchtime, and recess. He is able to have self-control when he thinks of the rhyme. Read all the books in this series and follow Clark as he learns about sharing crushes and how to act in his class. Hi, my name is Elizabeth. The next books are from the Shark School series. Harry Hammer is a hammerhead shark. Although he'd rather be a great white shark or tiger shark, anything but himself. But when a class trip to a famous shipwreck almost ends in disaster for Harry and his pals, he realizes the importance of being exactly who he is into a world of Harry Hammer, a, ham a hammerhead shark with tendency for misadventure with his fantastic start to a chapter book series. Check out one today. Hi, I'm Violet. The last book is The Line Tender by Kate Allen. 12-year-old Lucy is growing up in the 1990s in Maine five years after her mother, a marine biologist, suddenly died. As a summer assignment, she creates a field guide with her best friend, Fred. One day, the tide brings in a great white shark to shore. Lucy dives into her mother's unfinished research with the help of her father, a local fisherman, and an elderly neighbor. The four form a bond that helps them all overcome their own personal struggles. As an extra bonus, each chapter includes a two-page black and white sketch of a different shark, showing Lucy's love for art. Now back to you! Please join me in a moment of silence. Choose your breathing. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Goodbye, Greyhounds.